<laughs> Y'all, my computer just shut off. I don't know what the hell happened. But it, it just froze up. I guess the masculine energies is mad. They say I'm making fun of them. But yeah, they crying because they, 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 you know, they wanted to dumb you down to strip your power away from you. They don't want you to speak the truth, Divine Feminine. And this is not a Divine Masculine. This is a Karmic Masculine. What the Karmic Masculines will do. Now, if they're your Divine Masculine and they're doing this, they're distorted. Trying to strip you of your power. Trying to keep you from speaking your truth. Wanting you to flow with whatever they got going on. They want to dumb you down. Some of you, it, 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 it may not even be your masculine. It could be a family member. It's they. Whoever they is to you. Whoever they are to you. It can be a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker. Somebody don't want you to speak the truth. They want to strip your powers. Like they want you to go, you know, you know how I say just relax and let it, let it go, let it flow. This is what they want you to do. Just relax. Don't worry about that. See, the Holy Spirit is saying for you to share your gifts. Okay. Some of you, you are, um, you read cards, you read tarot on this card. Some of you may actually be from um, New Orleans. That's where my ancestors are from. Okay, something about Jackson Square. Somebody, you know, this masculine, he's being haunted. Oh, oh. Okay, this masculine is crying because your ancestors then came to get him, or whoever. If it's not your your, if it's not the person you're with, it could be a family member crying like this, trying to keep you from speaking your truth, trying to strip you of your power, revenge. Okay, spirits wreaking <laughs> vengeance. <laughs> Oh, execute. Yeah. Oh, this this person is crying because it's like a, a, a public um execution. So your your ancestors and my ancestors is is tearing that ass up. They and some of these they, they've been tearing that ass up. Yeah. Somebody's last name. Or first name may be Jackson. See, this is somebody you you may, you know, um, your words may have power. And you have somebody out there, you know, trying to take away your power. Body balance. You may be a, a, a wellness coach or someone who who's in the fitness. You teach male and female. You could be a a uh like here in Long Beach, it's uh I don't know what the name of the group is, but every Saturday he's down there by the beach and they be they're they're not in the sand part, they're on the grass area. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Now. They be down on the beach. And it's it it you know, I see could be fifty to a hundred people who be out there and they be doing their little um exercises yoga and all of that stuff they have their little mats out there laid on the grass some of you may be into into something like that into fitness you may be a part of a group or something and this energy is the one that was crying he may you know he this person could have a spirit in them 
that knows when you when you take care of your body and when you eat the right foods and stuff, you may eat healthy. And when we eat all of them potato chips and, you know, tacos and, you know, all of that fast food and all of the chips and stuff in the store, it keeps you, it, it, it throws your body, your body chakras off. All seven of them from what I see. You know, it fucks with your crown chakra. It fucks with your, your third eye chakra. Your heart chakra. Um, your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, and your root chakra. These, 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 you know, things that's going on around the world and foods we eat infects that. Maybe this person is somebody who was always feeding you. Maybe they was feeding you, trying to get you fat and out of shape or something, make you gain weight. And there's signs out here. Your, your ancestors is wreaking havoc on this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wreaking havoc on them. So we're going to see. Now we're going to pick up this deck right here. Feeling neglected. You could have ghosted this person. Or, or, um, you and isolating somewhere you're you're soul searching. And I'm I'm learning tarot, y'all, so I can tell you more in depth when it comes to what certain things. And the the um the hermit. Somebody could be dealing with a, a Virgo energy. The, Vir the her the, the Virgo, the Virgo. <laughs> it means to take a break, self reflection. For some of you, it's, it's you know solitude, inward solitude, soul search, spiritual enlightenment, and it's like you're finding the answers that you seek within your soul, isolating yourself, withdrawing from a difficult situation. Yeah. You withdrew from this person because it was difficult. Because they're they're trying to keep you from being who you were meant to be. If you have a powerful voice or you motivate people or whatever it is that you do, um, is is you're a speaker or something. Maybe you're a singer. I don't know. But they they was trying to strip you of your power. And you, you know, like they have you at a crossroad in your life. Had you, you know, contemplating a new direction, searching for wisdom, meditation. You're searching for truth speaking and, and guidance. Yeah. And this person was trying to, you know, take your power away. That's why they crying because... Your ancestors is tearing that ass up. Now we about to we about to get the good shit. Okay. They off balance. This person is off balance. They they could be feeling like they're in a, a mental in, institution, mental blockages, mental entrapment, or they can actually be in a mental place. Okay. Tell him shut the fuck up. He don't want to be there. Just like he didn't want you. Oh shit. Okay. Some of you, this person really is either either there in some sort of Mental entrapment, mental hospital, mental um, imprisonment, somewhere they are. That's why he's crying like that. <laughs> yeah. And, and where he's at, either he's able to see you. And it is like you either a ten of cups by yourself or you done moved on with somebody else. 
and that's why he crying. <laughs> mm. Okay. You could have a set of twins. He's 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 looking back. Now, if he's not in a mental mental facility or something, and he's able to be out on the street somewhere, unless unless I know it, I know the prison ain't nowhere close to no no beach where people are actually on this beach. Unless he look out the window, or if you live close to a, a prison that has a beach where you know the the prisoners can look out the window, or a, a mental hospital or something. This person, they could be looking at you and it's throwing them off balance or if they're not in a mental place, if they're just literally looking at you, um, yeah, energetically, if they're looking at you, they're, they're, they're either, oh, <laughs> this person is imagining this. They've set up an illusion. Now, some of you, you may actually be have moved on and having a ten of cups with somebody else. You could have two kids, some twins, or this could be your twin flame. But somebody is looking, looking at somebody happy, and it's and they off balance by looking. This person, whoever, this person who tried to take your power away from the from you. They're basically watching you be happy. And you got a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge. And you got money, baby. Ooh, and this person is looking at it. Because they wanted you to go along with, you know, with whatever they doing. What they had going. Now, with the, with the, uh public execution that could mean <laughs> not that <coughs> this person is gonna do something in, in, in the, the I'm, I'm talking spiritual this person it's killing them it's killing them it's, it's a public execution okay but it's, it's a, a spiritual or energetic this person, <laughs> you hear? Him? He's look how look how look how they looking at this ten of cups. Look at that scale that he's holding. I say it's a man. I can't tell. They have these these things have hard faces. But look at that scale. How it's, it's tilted. Somebody is if is off balance. You know, they unstable that you're having a ten of cups. That everything is good for you. You got a love good love in your life, family, you know, just just happiness and joy. And you got money. Somebody is looking at that. Now for some of you, this may not have happened. This may be some energy coming towards you in the future. You're going to be happy and somebody is going to um, basically don't have regrets because they was trying to do something with seven of swords in reverse. They were being deceptive, keeping illusions. Just they was they was being deceptive. And they didn't get away with it. Okay. Yeah, this person with the six of swords. <laughs> uh, a gradual change moved from danger, a solution of problems. See, whoever they were, they wanted to be, you know, like 
you to believe that they had the solution to everything. Okay, and it could have been you had spiritual solutions. They could want to medicate. He's like, no, I, 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 I'll do this instead of taking all of that medicine. You know, that type of energy for somebody. But this person, you know, if you, when you walked away from this person, they seeing you with good money. This was somebody who wanted you to basically um, take care of them. But there was a gradual change. You you know, you slow you you. It's like you went with the flow, but I feel like at the same time you were still balancing yourself. But this is a karmic energy. Now they having a tower. This is this is disruption to them. <laughs> Some of you you may have divorced this person. This person may have lost this job. When it comes to the tower, that can be financial failure. Um, health problems. It can be a natural disaster. Some sort of upheaval or massive change. And this person is, is looking at it. But they're not getting... Whatever they was doing, they're not getting away with it no more. If they was trying to keep you from speaking, you speaking now. Yes, you put some things to an end. It ended. Now, this is different for everybody, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. The Five of Wands. And the Wands talk about fire is hot, you know, things are wild, unpredictable. It can mean, you know, being creative and helping us to cook food, build fire, build tools, it, or it can be destructive, like a devastating bush fire or a house fire. <clears throat> and this is the five of wands. It's a lot of competition, arguments, and battles. That's, that's what this person is crying about. Because they tried to strip you of your power. They tried to stop you from speaking. Now your ancestors is tapping that ass. Tan that ass up. Put it in the comments. Your ancestors is tan that ass up. Like Curtis Plain saying, ta da 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 <laughs> Yeah. They thought whatever they was doing, you know, they may not even realize that they were doing this. But the spirit in them, they have an attachment in them that was sent to do this to you. See, people don't understand there's energies out there that they're not aware of that has jumped on them, jumped in them, went through them, you know. And, and if they're not protecting themselves, they will affect you, even though they're unaware of, of what shit going on, you know, behind closed doors, things that people go on and they don't tell. They have secret karma, but they don't be telling. They tell their closest karmic friend what shit is going on with them. Here's the here's the hermit. Yeah, this person is somewhere now. This could be you know, since you had to isolate yourself from them, they're crying. It's like when, when you got away from this person, they, they like having a meltdown. Somebody seen somebody getting into some arguments or a fight or something. It happened at nighttime. Could have been in front of an apartment building or something. Uh, um, like a, a building that's more than five stories tall. This masculine, he may, he may have gotten evicted with this tower out here. He then got kicked out of the tower. 
or feminine, whoever it is, whoever that tried to stop you from speaking. Like I said, it can be your person, the person you're thinking about. It could be a family member. It can be a coworker. It can be a neighbor. It can be anybody. Whoever was trying to talk against you, speaking out. This is them crying, male or female, and they're having a tower moment. You could have been somebody who have a crystal ball, like this one right here. Okay? Or you may have crystal balls. <laughs> okay, and, and this person, you know, they if 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 you go to bed at night or something and you hold your, your crystal ball before you go to sleep and just you know, get the energy from it or something. You may have a little ritual you do and you hold the ball before you get in the bed or something or you may some of you may put it in the bed with you or under your pillow or something. I don't know. But whatever it is that you do, this this um this person that's crying, it's like they were, you know, maybe you used to talk to your crystal, you know, and before you go to sleep. You pray to it or something you had your your whatever it is that you do. Somebody somebody one of them kids out there, I hear the um the little bird scooter. Somebody name may be bird. Somebody may have a bird. Somebody may have a scooter. Somebody is doing something with a, a vehicle or a car. The vehicle is a car. A scooter or something, a motorcycle. Somebody messing with something they ain't supposed to be, and it's and 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 an alarm or something is gonna go off. <laughs> this could have happened with this masculine. He had three of swords. Yeah, he broken hearted. He's jealous. He's sitting here crying. Like I said, he don't have to be in an actual mental institution. He could be. He could see you in the fucking mall somewhere. You and your person. Happy. He can see it, see you at the beach. He can see you and your person just walking in the meadow. You know? He can see you in the front of your building. There could be a fight for some of you. If he off balance, just be careful. Yeah, them seeing him seeing somebody, him seeing you with somebody is giving him a tower moment. And if he was trying to get away with trying to trying to throw you off balance by him ghosting you. Oh shit. He ghosted you and he came back and you done met somebody new. God damn. Whoa. <laughs> oh shit. Yep. <laughs> Somebody is they they are ooh they mentally off balance ooh they they fucked up <laughs> ooh ooh let me get another deck let's see <laughs> wait a minute yeah let's go to this deck right here cause um. So, yeah, okay, now I see why he crying. First, he, he you know, he didn't want you to, to speak your truth. You know, he was probably somebody who always telling you to shut up and stuff like that. Um, he possibly never motivated you. Yeah, he off balance. But the funny thing is... He was, he was, the heart of this energy from this other deck is saying, he was being deceptive. Basically, he got caught. Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay? And you ghosted him. No, he, he ghosted you. <laughs> Ooh, for somebody, 
Oh, he he ghosted. I'm, I'm gonna find out. We this go this read may go a little longer. He ghosted you, and I guess he was he. This could be somebody who's, um, you know, like a a a, a knight of wands energy, hot and sexy, wants sex. I mean, passionate type of energy, one night stand type, or come get someone he needed and leave, and you don't see him for a few weeks or a few months. Whatever time that he was gone, ghosting you, he may have actually been in jail or in some sort of thing, something, something he was somewhere. And when he came back, you didn't, you didn't, you got it, you got a, a new relationship with somebody and the, 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 who is making me stutter? <laughs> you and your person could possibly have two kids your this the person you with is not your that you didn't that you're happy with is not is not your kids it's it's the new masculine's kids and they like you this has got him thrown off <laughs> oh yeah he's he's thrown off and that's why he crying because he ghosted you. And apparently he stayed away a little bit too long. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is this person looking at? Humorous. Loyal. Devoted. That's why he all balanced. The person you with, he watching you at the beach. You know, he may be somewhere with some shades on and you don't know it's him. Or he may be sitting in the car and can see you. Um, your person, who the new person has two, two daughters. And you guys are at the beach. Mm -hmm. And he's watching. Now, for some of you, it may not be at the beach. It's, it's just somewhere, and it's a male and a woman. It's a, a feminine and a masculine energy. Two girls at somewhere. The, I see the girls, like, um, playing together. They're, they could be doing, like, um, patty cake or something. They're doing something with their hands or dancing together or something. It don't have to be at the beach, but wherever it's at, he looking and he see you. It could be it, it it could be your wedding. Ooh, ooh, if it's the wedding, if it's if some of you just recently got married. <laughs> if he if you just recently got married. <laughs> Some of you may be engaged, but he looking at a ten of cups. And the person who you're with is loyal, wild, frenetic, devoted to you. This is driving him crazy. He's broken. He's broken hearted. Yeah, his heart is broke. And he jealous. <laughs> Ooh, okay, spirit, tell me more. What else is this masculine, you know? Why is he off balance? Yeah, he's off balance because he realized that maybe you met you met your uh your true divine partner. You met your divine masculine. Wow, see? <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. If you recently got married, put in the comments, congratulations. Yeah, this person is broken hearted. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he is. He could have <laughs> he could have seen the wedding. And this could have him in a mental imprisonment.
this is resonating with you or if you like this story, go on ahead. Hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> He's feeling a loss of you. He's depressed and grief. Yeah, because you didn't got married. Now, if you haven't married this person, this can be something that's coming in, in the near future. You may be in the Ten of Cups, but you just may haven't gotten married. You could be engaged. Whatever the case may be, your ex is looking. Okay? He's off balance. You were somebody who tear him. <laughs> you took care of him. Yeah. I wish this never have happened. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. He he's he's in pain. <laughs> I want to I want to fix our connection, but he can't fix it. Cause you're either engaged or married already. He messed up. And this is a this is a broken heart that can't be mended. He broke your heart, now he's broken heart. But I feel like divine feminine, your divine masculine came in and you didn't got married. Yeah. <laughs> Finality. Yeah, you cut ties with this person. Closure. Yep. Farewell. Yeah. person i don't even know what the title is try to take your power try to keep you from speaking yep self-love i'm trying to i'm still trying to heal this is this is the way you was feeling when you was with this person they know that spirit in them knew that um self-love and spirituality goes together hand in hand and when this person they they may have you may have been a, a, a motivational speaker where you teach about self love and they didn't want you to tell the truth yeah now they missing all of that shit because they need to they need to, to, to know they, they, they need your help now <laughs> yeah, they need your help. Wait a minute, I'm getting me a gummy bear. Tell them shut the fuck up. Don't be in the comments talking about turning the cart and crying off because it's annoying. No, you get in the comments and tell them to shut the fuck up. If it's annoying you, um, <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. No, if it's annoying you, then. Imagine how 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 they how they feel when they're around you if the crying is so annoying. Or if it's annoying you, then tell them shut the fuck up. I am finna argue with you because I'm eating my gummy bears. <laughs> but anyway, if you don't like the sound effects or the crying, you can always hit the mute button and turn on your closed captions. I just hope you can read. Okay. Mm. This person, they could be trying to send a song to you. Or you may be hearing songs that remind you of this person. It can be um, what you call your song between you and him, or he's thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I want to call you and hear your voice. <laughs> he want to talk to you. He having regrets. Now, this is probably somebody... He want to hear your voice now because 
when you was trying to call him while he was ghosting you, he didn't answer. So it seems like the same thing he did to you is turning around and biting him on the ass. But the thing is, you didn't marry somebody or engaged to somebody. He didn't take it serious. We'll find out who, 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 what, <laughs> who or what was it that he ghosted you for. This person ghosted the collective. Tell, tell me about this person that ghosted the collective. What is the energy of the person that they went to. What's the energy of the karmic energy with the outside energy of the divine feminine? swords nine of cups in reverse so the energy that they they left you for was cruel malicious spiteful no love. Not a disappointment. He's disappointed. No happiness. Unhappy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why he's crying. Because the person he left you for, Divine Feminine, he went to somebody that was vicious, unintelligent, pessimistic, malicious, spiteful, that didn't love him. And he's looking at you. All the love you get, all the joy and the happiness that you get, now he's in a brokenhearted energy. He's in a jealous energy, which at one time had you jealous. Not saying that you're jealous of the feminine he was with, but it, it hurt your heart of him just going to another person. And you ain't got to worry because that was a karmic energy. Now this karmic energy is watching you with your divine masculine. Oh, mm. and he broke a hearted. Your divine masculine is all that, baby. Yeah, he's loyal, devoted. He's wild. He's humorous. He make you laugh. Tell me about Divine Feminine, that this the Divine Feminine, um, Divine Masculine. Tell me about the Divine Masculine that Divine Feminine got. Uh-oh. Destruction, confusion, hostility, and failure in arguments. Now, this still could be the energy of this ex. Or this karmic energy, but there's some sort of confusion, hostility. The I don't. This is not divine masculine. Divine masculine is is the truth and authority. New beginnings, Ace of Swords, clarity. Or with the Ace of Swords in reverse, it could mean that this masculine 
the the divine masculine don't know the truth. Maybe he don't he don't know that this masculine is is your karmic ex is watching you, or he don't know about him. Yeah, he can be a little confused about it. How does divine masculine feel about divine feminine? How does this divine masculine feel about divine feminine? How does this divine masculine feel? Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. New feelings, emotional, awakening, love, overflow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person feels the Ace of Cups for you. He loves you, Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Masculine. Yeah, so that's good to know that some Divine Feminines have fallen in love, have fallen in love, have came in contact, have met their Divine Masculines. That's, that, that is real good. Okay, because a lot of us deal with karmic energies. And you think because the sex is good, they're your soulmate, but they be your, your karmic soulmate. They're supposed to make you feel good, not only between your legs. They're supposed to make you feel good in your mind. There shouldn't be no, you know, I'm not saying this is a perfect relationship, but it should be basically down there. You know, power couple energy. You may have a little ups and downs, but you, you pull through. Nobody walks away. It's a strong bond between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 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 karmic masculine is feeling abandoned and lonely. <laughs> yeah. He he got to walk away. Eight of Cups. He got to. He, ain't nothing else he can do. Divine Feminine to marry somebody. Divine Feminine, who you marry? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Well. Tell me more about the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Laziness, the rest job, eight of pentacles, lack of motivation. That's that's this uh your ex's energy. He's lazy and gotta rush some shit. And he's just off balance. He don't wanna do nothing. <laughs> He not he don't feel he don't feel motivated because see when this this karmic had divine feminine you would mo you would motivate him <laughs> you motivated him you know he was lazy you would motivate him to get up and and to make some money you would motivate him to go look for a job or if he you know you possibly was someone who would would um you supported him. But now, shit, you could be in the Queen of Swords energy. <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> Don't shut the fuck up. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. he's, he's Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, his fears came true. The inevitable, however you pronounce that word, surviving a, surviving a um a disaster. 
That's like a tower moment for him. <laughs> yeah, he feeling this. He feeling the energy of you finding somebody new got him crushed. Mm -hmm. The world in reverse. He's disappointed. Burdened. He feeling incomplete without you, Divine Feminine, because you had that Divine Feminine energy. The High Priest is energy. You're intuitive. Mm -hmm. Things you could have warned him about, told him things about fights. Now he's, he's his uh, your ancestors is beating that, tearing that ass up. Mm -hmm. And he can't come to you for guidance. Because he ghosted you and by the time he came back, you moved on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Ace of Wands. Creative spark. Inspiration. Enthusiasm. Good energy and new passion. Yeah. Got you you got you some new dick. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, he probably thought he had the best of our feelings. Yeah, he thought he was going to strip you of your power. And he fucked up. Yeah. The Empress out here, you could be pregnant. Oh, if you're pregnant by somebody else, oh, that's killing him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or if you're not pregnant, you can, these two kids down here. And it's Ten of Cups. See the two girls. You could be a mothering energy to them. Empress, you I said it, it, it they love you. It's like when you got with whoever this new person is, they they bring you your wish fulfillment. Maybe you always wanted kids, but you never had none, or you were scared to give birth, or, but you, you know, this man came with the full package, and you love the package. Wow, the package. It's like whispering. It, it was, it was like saying the package. Oh, <laughs> the, the, and your divine masculine got the package. <laughs> So somebody's divine masculine is beefed up. Okay. Divine masculine, you beefed up. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but somebody is beefed up and got the package. I couldn't even say package. It was it was like whispering to say the package. So it's a Taurus energy out here. Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. <laughs> Two of swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. This person thought you was going to be stuck. Now they're, they're blocked off. They going through turmoil. And when you was with them, there was nothing, you know, but a, a, a stalemate. They would deny you. They, you know, with, with, with blindness, they, they didn't pay attention to things you would try to talk to them about. They would avoid you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now his ass is stuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. See? Y'all get in the comments and tell me what should I name this video because I don't know. What should I name it? Put put a title for this video. I'm gonna put it in the in the in the um I mean put it in the comments. What do you think I should title this video? Okay. Tell me more.
No more Holy Spirit. Success, victory, recognition, and six of wands. People are seeing you and your person and your family, your little family thing. Hell, it may, may be like the Brady Bunch. You may have a child and they may have a child. And the kid's getting along. Um, your kids love his kids. You know, it's, it's the six of wands. Some of you may, may have some sort of little TikTok or something with your family. Oh, and if that's the case, and he watching you, ooh, child, he mad. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I ain't gonna end it. What else, Holy Spirit? What is this person crying about? Why are they off balance? When it comes to divine feminine, why is this karmic masculine off balance? Because divine feminine has new love, divine feminine and divine masculine. The wishing well in reverse. This wasn't his wish, and he wasn't expecting that expectation in reverse. Wishing well in reverse. All the, all, the wishing well carries a lot of water. Um, emotions in reverse. Wish fulfillment in reverse, his wish coming true in reverse, or it could be an inheritance in reverse, and he's not with an anchor down. See, with this anchor in reverse, this anchor is off the chain, off the boat. Somebody may be off the chain, but the 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 anchor, somebody threw in the anchor, and it ain't connected. They just floating away. The boat just gonna float away. Now this can mean that this this is why he's he's upset. Say for instance, collective, you the boat and he the anchor. Always weighing you down with, you know, holding you down and all that shit. You unscrewed that anchor. You left, you you chopped it off or whatever. It ain't connected to no boat no more. All them seagulls out there. You could have been spiritually led. You may communicate with the birds. You may, you know, get messages through the birds. I do. You know. And you could have got, you know, a message telling you to let the shit go. Cut the anchor. Throw in the anchor. You know how they say throw in the anchor. You threw it in, but you still floated away. <laughs> and they did not expect that. <laughs> they didn't expect that to happen. Mm -hmm. They didn't expect for, for you to have no ten of cups. <laughs> when they ghosted you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you to buy feminine. They didn't expect that. They looking out the window for somebody else. Or that could be you looking out the window for your true love. Yeah, you met your true person. The house fell out in reverse. Now, this could mean... When you was with this karmic energy, this this could mean a lot. You know, when I'm looking at this person crying, they could have been somebody who locked you out the house. They could have they could have been the type of person to take your keys so you couldn't leave the house, and you have to stay in there with them and argue or listen to them running their mouth or something. This could be a lot of chaos and conflict, or you could have this could mean you could have moved out. This could mean that some of you may have kicked kicked him out. 
Okay? So, it's different for everybody. So, take it where it resonates. But that house is upside down. And whatever whatever it case it means, you ain't living with this person. Or if you are still living, no, you're not living with this person no more. Oh, okay. If you was living with this person and you left Divine Feminine, they could have a big old, big house. It could be two or three stories big. I don't know. One of them houses somewhere may have three stories. And with Divine Feminine being there, her loving, you know, um, mother and energy could have kept this person's house clean. And now you ain't there. And this could mean they house is, is you know, unkept now. It's not clean. You're not there to clean it. They didn't expect this. Okay. This could be somebody who 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 was arrogant and narcissistic to where you could have been living in the house with them and they could have ghosted you and had the attitude like, well, I'm paying the rent or I'm doing this. All you got to do is be here. It don't matter if I have other people in my life or whatever. And they could have just been up the type to up and leave and not tell you, you know, then make you feel worthy enough. Like, you know, and, and they left. And I believe this time <laughs> they left and came back. You left the house, and um, they came back to to empty closets and shit. Probably just you probably left the hangers. That's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. You know, it's it's different for everybody. Some of you moved out. Some of you kicked them out. Um, some of you, um, the house was a mess. Some of you, the house was, a, it was a lot of arguments and fighting going on in the house. And he's, he's, this is why he's so off balance because he know where you went to buy feminine, your cleanliness went with you. <laughs> he knows that you're, you're not a dirty person because you're a feminine energy, a divine feminine. He was trying to be sneaky. <laughs> now they going through a storm. You see that? Yeah. This person, you know, put you in competition or made you feel like you was in competition or wanted to make you feel like you was in competition and you probably took it for so long. And you're like, man, forget this stuff. How did Divine Feminine meet her Divine Masculine? How did this particular Divine Feminine meet her Divine Masculine? This is for the Divine Feminines who have, you have met your Divine Masculine. Wow. You met him in poverty. Okay, so some of you divine feminines. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay. Somebody out there, your divine masculine, this is why the house is in reverse. You met your divine masculine why you was living with this person. But there was this person didn't show no love to you. It's like they try to kind of like treated you like a house guest or something. You know, they probably this would be somebody who would possibly bring other women over and be disrespectful. That's how my, my oldest son father was. He, you know, told me that the girl that he was living with was his roommate. And then, you know, she started acting funny, but she liked the women too because she was trying to rub on my arm and I was like, hey, I'm strictly dick. Me don't like, you know. But then it's like she started, you know, acting funny. So this could be that type of situation. This, this masculine could have been bringing women into the house. I was the other woman and didn't know it. Shit. You know, but um, you it with this poverty out here in this house upside down, you could have moved out, and your divine masculine. How else did divine feminine meet this masculine? How did this? And main female, and see she came out earlier, and I put her back in the deck. He, this masculine told you that your divine masculine told you he would never cheat on you. 
You're going to be his main female, his only female. This is why he is fucked up. That's why this karmic masculine is fucked up. Ooh, he feeling fucked up. If you was living with him and while he was out ghosting doing his thing with somebody else and came back and, and you done moved the fuck out and started a whole new relationship. Ooh. <laughs> Tell me more. Ooh, ooh. Tell me more. Yeah, third party. He flipping out. False person. Yeah, you you got fed up with that. You know that, that he was being fake. That he really didn't love you. And he had somebody back in the background. See? See how she got her mouth covered and somebody in the background right there? Yeah. You knew it. And it was his ex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Now he praying. Tell me more. Yep. You moved. Yep. You moved out. But he didn't want to change. And he took a risk. That was the last time he did that shit, Divine Feminine. If he left and went on about his business, ghosting you when he came back, you had moved up out of there. And now he's looking at you off balance, watching you be happy. <laughs> Congratulations, Divine Feminine. For those of you out there who recently either got engaged or in love and you know this is your divine masculine and he treats you like you're his divine feminine he knows you're he treats you like a queen congratulations see this person they didn't want it to be over this is the coffin <laughs> he could be of african descent you could be african-american He want to apologize, but it's too late. See, he, oh, okay. He he kept taking risks going back, fooling around with his ex. Now, it could be his ex-wife, his ex-girlfriend, his ex-baby mama. Yeah, he kept going back to her. And this last time he went back to her, when he came back, Divine Feminine. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another deck. Oh my god, this reading is interesting. Some shut up. He don't wanna. I'm going to go to my rainbow. Love rainbow deck. Show me more about this masculine. King of swords. And the nine of swords in reverse. This masculine is banging his head up against trees and shit. Now, Divine Feminine, this could actually be you. You may put your, your head to the tree. You may hug a tree. You may call yourself. That may be how you're, you're staying grounded. And the King of Swords. Could you be, you and your person be both air signs, Divine Feminine? Because the Queen of Swords out here too. That's wisdom, intellect, clear thinking, high standards, critical of herself and others. But she's independent, self-sufficient, and intelligent. And the king of swords. 
is ruthless, excessively judgmental, cold, stern, a bit uncaring, but commands wavering respect. So, the person you with could be, you know, um, the king of swords or the person, your karmic ex could be the king of swords. And we have a queen of, queen of swords out here. So I don't know if that's the person you married. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And a Scorpio. Four of Wands, Reverse. Celebration, reunion. Parties and stuff. If this person was, if they was partying and celebrating, doing a lot of that. He ain't doing that no more. Nope. He ain't partying no more. He He's sick. <laughs> he's sick. Yeah. He's not growing. He don't know the importance of rituals and events in religious or spiritual groups. He don't know none of that. Yeah. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confident, a social butterfly. She's also independent and determination. Depend independent and determined. Okay. Um Yeah. So I don't know. It's a Queen of Wands out here and it's a Queen of Swords. Now the, the Queen of the, the Queen of Wands, you could be the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Swords. And this could be your exes, one of the other woman. Okay. Whoever, whoever your ex was ghosting you, oh, his ex, ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, whoever your person's ex is, could either be the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Swords. Both of these queens are upright. Okay, it's it's like whoever the masculine energy, he's he's the 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 uh, karmic masculine. He's ruthless. That's why he's crying and looking like a fool right now because he didn't expect this shit. Tell me more. Ten of Swords again. <laughs> he defeated. He depressed. He feels like giving up. Yeah. That's the way he thought you was going to be. That's how you was feeling. Depressed. You know, when he would go off and leave you. Ghosting you. Feeling like he had the upper hand because he you lived with him or something. Yep, he's in despair. This is a tough situation. And he's hoping things will get better, but he know ain't nothing gonna get better because you done married somebody else, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Tell him shut up. <laughs> Don't he sound like a clown? Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. Effort. Yeah. You, this could be you and your your new person and the kids. You guys work together. You probably go to rallies together and um, different events and stuff. Yeah, they they a ten of swords energy, and you're it's like you go to different um, things together. 
Ace of Pentacles. The Moon. Represents things being hidden. It can represent occult forces, deception, things you know being um, hidden. It can represent using your intuition. It can represent emotional cycles. It can represent your subconscious desires. It can represent um, darkness, lies, things being hidden. Okay, and the Eight of Wands. See, you could have made a, a a quick decision. You rushed. You took action. You moved on with whoever this new energy is. You moved on with them quickly, because if you was going through through this, this person, you know, how did this person? How did the Divine Masculine come in to? Divine Feminine. Somebody is off balance. Oh, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whoever, your, your, your Divine Masculine, I don't know if he's somebody to the person. Maybe it could have been somebody who you could have been renting the house from this person. You could have been renting and, and they was doing stuff and this could be one of this could be a divine masculine's friends that you lived with. And he was saying nothing is going on between him and you. It could have been a situation like that. And his friend came in and moved you out, seeing how he, he was doing it, or this the, the the house could have been nasty and, and and you divine feminine could have been telling Divine masculine, yeah, this karmic masculine, he's nasty. He don't clean up. Um, I'm tired of cleaning up behind him and so and so. And this masculine, this divine masculine could have invited you to come live with him. Or he he could tell you he got a he owns some property and he'll rent something to you, Divine Feminine. He could say, um, I own a few a couple properties or something. My daughters, I gave I rent one out to my daughters. But I'm pretty sure they'll they don't mind living together because they they they're twins or something like that. And if this masculine, if divine masculine had two homes, or if he owned a house where he lived in the front and he got some apartments in the back or something, I believe for somebody, this divine masculine rented this apartment to you or gave it to you, and 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 now you probably in the moved in the big house with him. And the girls is in the in the houses back in the back. Something like that. If that's your story, put it in the comments for me. Okay? Tell me how my intuition is. Tell me more. Ten of Cups in reverse. Open. What is that? Now here's the Ten of Cups in reverse. This this person is looking at how they missed their opportunity when it came to you in the Ten of Cups. They didn't have it, but you got it now. Mm -hmm. He hurt. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He didn't want it to come to an end. Death in reverse again. Knight of Swords. This person is flipping out. Yeah, they flipping out. All these queens out here. He had a, he has a, uh, oh, he's a queen, king of pentacles. For some of you, this is a king of pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. He got a lot of wealth and he got a lot of women around him. It's a queen of pentacles out here. 
a queen of, of wands out here and a queen of swords. And now he's in the five of cups. <laughs> he's in regret. So he was he was ghosting divine feminine for other women or bringing all these women in the house and you know he could have you know been trying to treat you divine feminine like you know it's nothing special it ain't no strings attached I I you let me you know do it to you or however we work this little plan out or whatever and then he could have started being disrespectful and bringing all these different women in and he could have whoever this your divine masculine probably was. One of his friends or somebody who lived close or something. And he's seen how this masculine was treating you. And, and he feels like you deserve to be treated like a queen. Yeah. Now this person is, they, they feel like a failure. They have regrets. They disappointed in themselves. Five of Cups energy. Shit. I can't tell if that's it. They be making these cars more transgenderish looking. I can't tell if that's a man or a woman. They make the women look like men. That's somebody. This is a, a somebody could be dealing with the transgender. I don't know. Tell me more. The sun in reverse. Yeah, this person flipping out. Cards flying out, flying all over the floor. The fool, yeah. He is unhappy with the sun in reverse. He is unhappy that you didn't started a new journey with somebody. <laughs> that you didn't took the started a new beginning, um, took a leap of faith with somebody else, and you end up marrying him. He had all of these queens around him. They not in reverse though. That's a good thing. You know, I don't see no evil queens around him, but he had women around him. <laughs> yeah, he didn't expect for divine feminine to meet somebody else. Yep. We have the, the page of swords. Somebody bringing new ideas, a thirst for knowledge, a new way to communicate. Uh huh. Curiosity. Three of Wands. Ace of Wands in reverse. Some of you, this is a fire sign that you could be dealing with. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that you can be dealing with. Um, Virgo, I mean, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Earth sign energy. Queen of Pentacles. It could be a sister and a brother energy. Some of these, these females could be his sisters could have always been coming around him, or he could have been saying that somebody is his sisters that he was bringing to the house, and they, they really wasn't his sister. All these queens, he could be saying they're relatives, or they could. Some of you, they could be his actual relatives, and some of them not. Okay. And if you were, you know, if, if this person was treating you like a knight coming and going, you stopped it. Yeah, you stopped it. Now, some of you, you wasn't living with this person. And they, they could have been, you know, bringing different women to their house. You could have just went over there and spent the night. It's different for everybody. Okay? I'm just looking at the cards. But they got major regrets because whatever it was, if you was at your own house or if you was living with him... Or if this, if this divine masculine was his friend or this divine masculine could have been written from this man too. You know, something with some property out here. Yeah. What is the outcome, Holy Spirit? For divine feminine and divine masculine, what is the outcome? Still flipping out. You see that? Still flipping out. Oh, oh, arguments, intimidation, stress. This masculine is so mad, he's he's done put himself in a competition. In a competition. But 
There ain't no competition because you done married somebody already, divine feminine. And this is intimidating him and stressing him out and he want to start an argument. Yeah. Because you're not re reconciling with him. <laughs> I, that ain't funny, but it's, 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 it's funny because he got his bubble busted. He kept leaving you. Now he wanna now he wanna fight your person. <laughs> Cause he's feeling defeated already. It ain't no competition. He is flipping out because these cards is like they keep flipping. <laughs> Woo! Your person could be the emperor. <laughs> he's flipping out. Nine of Cups, all this love. Yeah, he flipping out. <laughs> it's like he putting his comp self in competition with the, the, the Five of Swords with the Nine of Cups. You can't compete with that. You got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups out here. He can't compete with that. And this is making him conflicted, so he would argue. <laughs> He's stressed out. Oh, my God. Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. Good things happening for you. He flipping the fuck out. Oh, two of swords. He's stuck. <laughs> Somebody got a twin, okay? This could be your twin flame. Six of wands. Somebody could be from the lesbian and gay community. Seven of swords. Yeah, a lot of trickery, lies, being sneaky, deception. Be careful, divine feminine, because this this ex may be may try to you know creep up and start a fight with you and your person. This may have happened for somebody y'all could have been at the gay parade. Don't mean you gay. They just be having fun out there. I was supposed to work at the event, but I didn't go. My boss called me. He know that I can't work like you know stand up and do all of them. Stand up long. But somebody um could be at, at a gay gay festival or something. And this person they could be in the in the um in the, the, the Marines or the Army in the military. For some of you be careful, you may be at some sort of gambling spot. Somebody trying to creep up to start a fight or try to intimidate somebody. Wheel of Fortune, that's at a casino. You see this person sneaking up. Look how he's looking back. He didn't did something. Somebody could have been deceptive at sneaky and did something while they was gambling. Or somebody could have been sneaking up and doing something at a gay festival. Hate to say it, somebody looked like they started their period at the gay festival. Okay. Yeah, but this person, just be careful. He may carry knives and shit. And he got a lot of little dark spirits around him, see? Be careful of this person. He's silently flipping out. Because mm -hmm. you're not submitting. You didn't submit to him. You gave up. Yeah, he, he ate a sword. He feeling helpless. He paralyzed. He stuck. It ain't nothing he can do. Because you done got married. And if you ain't married, you're in a long time. A new, you done started a new beginning. 
Either way it go, you with somebody else, with somebody else, and it's not him. And that's tearing his ass apart. He is straight off balance. Oh, poor karmic masculine. Tell me more about this karmic masculine. Yeah, something to do with the rainbow. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this person is, is feeling hopeless and helpless. He's in the Eight of Swords energy because you're in the Six of Pentacles. You're sharing your wealth, giving and receiving. This could be your your divine masculine. Could be, could you know, always giving to you. Equal give and take, giving and receiving. Generous, Okay. Where this karmic masculine tried to make you feel like you was a charity case if he have to give to you. It wasn't like he would just freely give to you. This is how you knew he's not your divine masculine. Okay? Because whoever this karmic is, it's like if he give you something, he never gave it to you. He was expecting something in return. He was selfish. Lies. He was sneaky. And the reason he was was sneaky and selfish and greedy, not I mean stingy, is because he have all these other feminine energies around him. Was leaving you at home, ghosting you for them, going to parades with him and shit, gambling casinos, shacks, and you know, because mm -hmm, he have a lot of money. Now he's stuck in the past. Somebody is leaving home. You you left. You moved forward. And this person is still stuck in the past. Now for some of you, you could be saying, I left this so-and-so 10 years ago. And you know, the Six of Cups, that's about memories, healing, pleasure, and comfort. He can't see none of that that he held towards you. When he was in a relationship. Because he wasn't pleasant. He wasn't comforting. You know. He kept you feeling helpless and paralyzed. Had you feeling trapped. He was stingy. Possessive. A hoarder. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you left. He, this person was a hoarder. This was somebody who had a lot of probably like antique stuff in their house. Oh, I can't get rid of that. That and that 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 was my grandmother's. Which, you know, I, I understand certain things. But apparently this person, they they was excessive. Hoarding. That's why the house was upside down. They may have some real valuable shit in there, but the house is fucked up. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this masculine. Yeah, he is flipping out. <laughs> he flipping out in the two of wands energy. <laughs> yeah, he's he's crying because you and your person. It's the two of wands energy. Courage and daring. Future planning. Decision making. Of new opportunities. Deep telepathic connection. With the twin flame. Yeah. This is this is your, your you found your divine masculine. Again, congratulations, divine feminine, divine masculine. The roles can be reversed. Divine masculine, if you up in here, you met your divine feminine. And your ex is crying. Okay. She could have kicked you out. Okay. 
Seven of Pentacles. Long term investment. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. See, when you was with this, this karmic masculine, it was limited success. He never made you feel like the relationship that it was going to be a, a, a something good. He didn't put no investment into the relationship that he had with you because he was investing in others. He kept ghosting you and your ass left. Yeah, that's why your spirit guides and your ancestors is tearing that ass up. Mm -hmm. He's seven of eight of pentacles in reverse. He's not working on himself, working on those skills. Nope. It's like he ain't he ain't trying to work on trying to make no money or nothing. Um, and when he was in a relationship with you, if he was at the Eight of Pentacles and he had a little money, he didn't invest it when it came to his divine feminine. That's this karmic. But he didn't want you to Eight of Cups his ass. He didn't want you to walk away from him. He wanted you to stay there and deal with his bullshit. Yep. Ooh, Divine Feminine. This is a good reading. Ooh. The Empress. Out here again. She came out in the other one. Yeah, it could be a pregnancy. You could be pregnant by your twin flame, by your Divine Masculine. Some of you, you if you're not pregnant, this is this could represent the new beginning of a, of a, a beautiful relationship. The, the Mother Earth, birth of ideas. Feminine energy. Abundance. Okay. And this, this, this you is the feminine beauty, abundance. And this person was trickery, deception, and lies. This karmic masculine. But now you done met your divine masculine. <laughs> and there is the chariot. Success, action, determination. Okay, the chariot. I write on my cards, but the chariot also means cancer energy, positive and negative, duality, negative forces. Use your willpower, it's a sign of encouragement. And somebody could be taking the trip. Okay, then black and white stripes represent the positive and negative. Okay, between you and your your karmic mask. But see, you you successfully moved on with your divine mask or your divine feminine. Take it where it resonates. Okay. This person <laughs> they they can't handle the truth. They let their trickery catch up with them. Yeah, the magician. You're okay. You're the master manifester, and the magician brings you the tools and resources and the energy that you need to make your dreams come true. Seriously, everything you have, right up to now, is at your fingertips. You have the spiritual, the physical, the mental, and emotional, which is earth, air, fire, and water. You got all four elements from the north, south, the east, and the west. Mm -hmm. And when you and your divine masculine are together, you are that power couple. Ooh, y'all. Karma, justice in reverse. Yep, this is karma. This person feels like this is unfair to him. He feels like you you're is is dishonesty. Now, this could be your your uh ancestors balancing some things out, allowing this person to see how it feels to be unfair. Where he feels like you're treating him unfair, but remember he was the one who ghosted was ghosting you. 
leaving you at home by yourself, going out, you know, partying and celebrating with other people, going to parades and shit, casinos and all of that type of stuff, leaving you at home. Because Divine Feminine don't be in that type of energy. You probably went with him to the casino and, and played a slot machine one time or got hooked on a slot machine and you left. But all of the extra stuff that comes along with things like that, you ain't go for it. Seven of Cups. You got options. Yeah. You got options, and these is all of his options out there. And there's the rainbow community. Life, healing, sunlight, nature, serenity, and spirit. Okay. Now, like I always tell my, my, my people from the lesbian and gay community, you got to get his flag back. That's the colors of your seven chakras. It ain't for the lesbian and gay community. Pick a color. Pick purple. Stick to purple. Yeah, this person is butthurt. Judgment in reverse. Justice in reverse. This is 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 he's he's he getting karma, super karma. Yeah. Cause you married and ain't no coming back. That's that's the that's the the, the whole thing. But you divine feminists that married that married somebody else and you was with your karmic and, and he kept ghosting you and you would still take him back. This time he gave himself enough time for him for for you to meet your divine masculine. <laughs> Damn. He ghosted you right at the right time. Yep. Yep. Here's the hermit. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yep, you, it's like you had to go into isolation or this person. You may have to isolate yourself from them and they kept trying to keep you from isolating. They didn't want you to soul search. You know, find yourself. But your divine masculine, you two probably go off to the beach together. You do things together. You go in solitude together. You meditate together. You probably in the same room and... and Play some Reiki music or some healing music and both lay down on the bed and just be quiet and don't say nothing to each other. Because you take it serious. Where this karmic masculine, when you probably would try to do some some sort of spiritual healing, they was always trying to interrupt you, making loud noises, opening, closing doors, rattling bags and shit, coming in with grocery bags, or they done went to the store and come back just making a lot of noise. This is how they were, again, they were trying to take your power from you. If you're a speaker, they were doing all sorts of things to, to undermine you. Three of Swords. They yeah, brokenhearted. And Two of Cups. See? They brokenhearted. Now... The, the tables turn. I'm always say that. See, this broken heart is in reverse now. You 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 cried and you let it out. You got over it. And you moved on. And that's what happened. Yep. You could have drove off somewhere and just went somewhere and cried and let it out. Yep, and you gathered your strength. Yes. Yes. You are you are um you were somebody, when it came to this karmic masculine, out of all the other feminine energies that, that was around him, you was able to tame him. You could say things to him and, you know, made him, you know, feel, <clears throat> you know, you, you could, it's like animal instincts, inner strength doesn't you know you don't use physical force but you used your inner strength to subdue this this master helping him overcome obstacles using strong willpower and determination and that's how you were with this master you showed strength to him and now he's sitting here with a broken heart watching you move on yep now he needs your strength you probably was giving him strength when he was dealing with all of these other feminine energies. And he could come to you for, for strength, for motivation. If you wasn't in a relationship with him, he could have been just somebody who you, you helped and they could have did you dirty some sort of way. 
and you end up moving out. You could have been a good source of his income. You could have been paying him good to stay there. Okay, for some of you. Some of you, he took you in because you were going through a situation. The world. That's the second time the world then came out. So good things is happening in the, in the relationship with you and this person. Yeah, see, this is somebody who says chivalry is dead. Wesley, Trevor Wesley. Let a real man pick up the slack and treat you with respect. Yeah. And you don't have to love me. You don't have to love me. Just because I'm a gentleman, it don't mean I ain't taking you to bed. That means I feel like you deserve it. To be treated good. Whatever makes you comfortable. Yeah, I can float your boat. Something about a note. Something take my coat while I sing you this last note. Take my hand and let me be the man. No, that's not what you're used to. Mm. And they say, chivalry is dead, dead, dead. Girl, let a real man pick up the slack and treat you with respect. Yeah, that's what this divine masculine is saying to you. Because he know that the, the karmic masculine didn't treat you with respect. This was somebody who wouldn't, you know, chivalry is dead. I ain't got to open the door for you. They pull up telling you to hop in instead of getting out and opening the door. A real divine masculine will open the door for you. They don't care about what other people think or they saying that's old fashioned. That's what's wrong with these men today and the ladies. There's no respect in the world. But when you meet a divine feminine or your divine masculine, they will respect you. And you just have to learn and know how to give them respect back. Okay. So if this reading resonated with you, go on ahead, subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button to energetically donate to my channel. Or you can make a monetarily donation, a monetary donation. You can send me a super chat. You can hit my cash app or my PayPal. It's all in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading, a personal reading, $25.55. And I also have a, a one question reading for five dollars. So if you're interested in any of those, then go ahead and inbox me at Pink Scorpion Intuitive at gmail.com. Again, that's Pink Scorpion Intuitive at gmail.com. And I'll see you in the next reading. Tell them shut the fuck up. Peace out.